Hello mga kawamat, in this video lesson, we will discuss the definition of the derivative. So let f be a function defined on an open interval, i, the subset of the set of all real numbers, and let x sub 0 is an element of the interval. So the derivative of the function f at x sub 0 is defined to be, so f prime, of x sub 0 is equal to the limit of f of x minus f of x sub 0 all over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches to x sub 0. So as you can see, yung uh, formula ng pagkuha ng derivative class ay same lang dun sa previous discussion natin sa pagkuha ng slope ng tangent line. So if this limit exists, that is, the derivative of f at x sub 0 is the slope of the tangent line at x sub 0 comma f of x sub 0 if it is exists. So remember that the derivative of a function is defined as instantaneous change in rate. So when we say it's instantaneous change, that it means uh, we're uh, looking for the derivative of the function. That's the derivative of the function. So the formula for the slope of a tangent line, which is also the formula in, fin in finding a specific derivative of a function at a given number. So for example, find the derivative of a function f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 5x at x is equal to 1. So first, kunin muna natin yung mga given values natin. So, ano ba yung x sub 0 natin dito? So, that is 1. So, kung ano yung given na x, so yun yung x sub 0 natin. And that is 1. And yung f of x natin is yung 3x squared minus 5x. And then yung f of x sub 0, evaluate natin yung 1 dito sa given na function natin. So, 3 times the quantity of 1 squared minus 5 times 1. So, 3 times 1 squared is 3. Minus 5, 3 minus 5, that is negative 2. So, yung f of x sub 0 natin is negative 2. So, applying the formula to find the, deriv to find the, 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 the derivative of a function. So, we have the limit of f of x minus f of x sub 0 all over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches to x sub 0. So, what we're going to do is to substitute, no? all the given values na nakuha natin dito. So, yung f of x natin, ito yon 3x squared minus 5x, and minus yung value ng f of x sub 0 natin, which is negative 2. Since negative 2 yung value niya, then minus ito, so magiging addition na. So, negative times negative, that is positive. So, plus 2 na siya dito. And then, x, copy x, minus yung x sub 0 natin, which is 1, as x approaches to 1. So, ang mangyayari niyan, since dito class, if a factor natin ito, okay, if a factor natin siya para magkaroon tayo ng cancellation. So, yung factor ni 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 ay magiging 3x minus 2 times x minus 1. So, as you can see, makakakancel natin yung x minus 1. So, ang may iwan na lang is the limit of 3x minus 2 as x approaches to 1. So, kapag ganito, isa-substitute lang natin yung x natin kay x, o uh, yung value ng x natin na 1, dito kay x, so 3 times 1, that is 3, minus 2, the answer is positive 1. Another example, so find the deriv uh, derivative of a function f of x is equal to x squared minus 5x plus 6, at x is equal to 2. So, same process, same format. Good. Let us uh, get first the given values. So, yung x sub 0 natin dito is yung positive 2. And then, uh, the f of x is x squared minus 5x plus 6. And then, evaluate natin yung x natin, which is 2, sa given function natin para makuha natin yung f of x sub 0. And that is 2 squared minus 5 times 2 plus 6. So, 2 squared is 4 minus 10 that is negative 6 plus 6. The answer is 0. Okay. 
So, using the formula, so, ilalagay lang natin. So, the limit of x squared, so, yung f of x natin, ito yon x squared minus 5x plus 6 minus, so, since yung f of x sub 0 natin ay 0 yung sagot, so, hindi na natin siya ilalagay. All over x minus 2 as x approaches to 2. So, no, next na gagawin, okay, ipa-factor natin ito para maka meron tayong makancel. So, ang factor na x squared minus 5x plus 6 is x minus 3 times x minus 2. So, makakancel yung x minus 2. Ang maiiwan na lang is the limit of x minus 3 as x approaches to 2. So, si 2, i-substitute natin kay x. So, that will become 2 minus 3. So, the answer is negative 1. Okay, so this is the derivative, no? Negative 1. Okay, for example, number 3, find the de uh, derivative of a function f of x is equal to the square root of x plus 6 at x is equal to 3. So, the given values, yung x sub 0 natin is positive 3, yung f of x, square root of x plus 6, and then yung f of x sub 0 is the square root of 3 plus 6. And then, using the formula, Okay, kapag in-evaluate natin by uh, yung, yung x natin by 3, so that is 3 plus 6, that's 9. Square root of 9, the answer is 3. So, yung f of x sub 0 natin, ang sagot natin ay 3. So, using the formula, so the limit of the square root of x plus 6, yan yung f of x natin, minus yung f of x sub 0 natin is 3, all over x minus x sub 0 is 3, as x approaches to 3. And then, since meron tayong radical dito, i-rationalize natin itong ano natin, given natin by multiplying both numerator and denominator by square root of x plus 6 plus 3 over square root of x plus 6 plus 3. So, both numerator i-multiply natin. Both numerator and denominator. And then, isi-simplify natin. So, square root of x plus 6, so ito yung multiply natin siya dito. So, ang maiwan na lang doon is x plus 6. And then, negative 3 times positive 3, that is negative 9. And then, copy natin yung denominator natin. Okay, so x minus 3 times the square root of x plus 6 plus 3. And then, if a factor natin, yung numerator. So, ang factor ng numerator natin, that is x minus 3 na lang. Kasi 6 minus 9, that is negative 3. So, makakancel yung x minus 3. So, maiiwan na lang yung limit of 1 over square root of 6 plus 3 as x approaches to 3. So, si 3, is substitute natin dito kay x. So, that will become the square root of 3 plus 6. So, nakuha na natin ito. No? So, the answer is 3. So, 3 ang sagot dito. And then, add natin itong isa, the square root of 9 plus 3. So, 3 plus 3, the answer is 1 over 6. So, may tinatawag din tayong uh, alternative definition of derivative. So, this is alternative. So, mula dun sa ginagamit natin formula kanina, yung f prime uh, of x sub 0 is equal to the limit of f of x minus f of x sub 0 all over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches to x sub 0. So, mula dito, yung x natin dito, papalitan natin siya ng x plus h. And then, yung x sub 0, papalit natin yung x. Tapos, yung x minus x sub 0, papalitan natin ng h. So, ito yung alternative definition of derivative. So, yung, kapag, sinab, uh, kapag ginamit natin ito class, makukuha pa rin natin no, yung kanina, yung, ma, yung sagot natin kanina, same pa rin sila na makukuha. Okay, for example, sagutan natin yung binigay kanina na example number 1. So, yung f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 5x. Ngayon nga lang, class, wala siyang binigay na point or yung value ng x. So, kailangan lang natin kunin yung derivative ng function and itry natin if yung x natin ay equal sa 1. So, kung makukuha ba natin yung same na answer. So, first, so using the formula, ang gagawin lang natin, of course, wala tayong gagawin, kundi papalitan lang natin yung mga x natin ng x plus h. Okay. 
So, magiging ganito class. So, lahat ng x, papalitan ng x plus h. So, 3 times uh, the squared of x plus h minus 5 times x plus h minus. So, lalagyan natin ng opening close parenthesis kasi magbabago ang sign natin dito kap kapag hindi tayo, kasi kung hindi tayo careful and then hindi natin nalagyan ng parenthesis, hindi natin mababago yung sign ni ne negative 5x. So, ito yun, di ba? Yung fx, ito siya. And then, simplify muna natin. So, squared natin yung x plus h. So, that is x times x. So, that is x squared. x times h, that is x h times 2, 2x h. And then, h times h, that is h squared, minus 5 times x, that is negative 5x, negative 5 times h, negative 5h, negative 3x squared, negative times negative, that is positive 5x, and over h, as h approaches to 0. And after that, so, ikakancel natin, meron tayong makakancel dito, yung 3x squared, and then yung negative and positive 5x. So, ang may iwan na lang is the limit of 6xh plus 3h squared minus 5h all over h as h approaches to 0. Since yung numerator natin may common factor sila na h. Okay, so yung common factor nila is h. So, 6xh divide h. Ano may iwan? 6x na lang. 3h squared divide h. So, 3h na lang may iwan. Negative 5h divide h, that is negative 5. So, si h dito makakancel natin. So, ang may iwan na lang is yung limit of 6x plus 3h minus 5 as h approaches to 0. So, yung value ng h natin dito, ilili, uh, isa-substitute natin dito kay h. Since 0 yung h natin, so, 3 times 0 is 0. So, ang may iwan na lang talaga is the limit of 6x minus 5. So, ito na yung derivative ng function natin, 6x minus 5. So, kanina sa example number 1, gamit yung definition of uh, derivative natin, uh, may binigay na value ng x doon at 1. So, kung i-check natin kung tama yung sagot natin. So, i-substitute natin sa 1 dito. 6 times 1, that is 6. Minus 5, the answer is uh, 1. Okay, so kapag kinuha natin to 1. Kung babalikan natin yung unang example no, sa previous slide, so ito rin yung sagot. So, parehas lang sila. No? So, kaya nga tinawag dito alternative definition of derivative. So, another example. Yung pangalawang example kanina, no, yung pangalawa, kunin natin. So, find the derivative of 3x squared. Okay, so bat na ulit lang to. Of f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 5x plus 6. Ito yung given natin na sa example number 2. So, kukunin natin yung derivative gamit itong pangalawa, yung alternative definition of derivative na formula. So, again, papalitan natin lahat ng x ng x plus h. So, magiging x plus h squared minus 5. So, ito yun, di ba? Ta tapos yung x, papalitan natin ng x plus h plus 6 minus. So, lalagyan ulit natin ng opening close parenthesis. So, yung f of x natin is yung x squared minus 5x plus 6 over h as h approaches to 0. So, the limit of x squared. So, isisimplify natin yung mga nasa parenthesis. So, the limit of x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. So, dito galing yan kapag minultiply natin. So, minus 5x minus 5h plus 6 negative x squared positive 5x and negative 6. So, makakancel natin si negative x squared and positive x squared. Ganun din si positive 6 saka si negative 6. And then, yung negative 5x and positive 5x. So, ang may iwan na lang sa atin is yung limit of 2xh plus h squared minus 5h all over h as h approaches to 0. So, since may common factor yung numerator natin, may common factor, so that is h times 2x 
plus h minus 5. So, yan ang maiwan. Tapos, maka-cancel yung h. So, ang maiwan na lang is the limit of 2x plus h minus 5. Since is 0, kapag sinabtitute natin dito kay h, magiging 0 na yan. So, ang magiging, maiwan na lang is yung 2x minus 5. So, that is the, the, the derivative of a function nung ating given na x squared minus 5x plus 6. So, kanina ang binigay na x ay 2. Diba? And then, ang nakuha natin doon, negative 1. So, if we check kung negative 1, so, 2 times 2, that is 4, minus 5, that is negative 1. So, same lang din ang makakuha natin sa God. Ito ay halimbawa lang, class, ha, to check. Kasi sa dito, sa pangalawa, sa alternative definition of derivative, walang binigay na value ng x. So, ito lang ang makukuha natin derivative ng function. So, kahit anong value ng x, pwede natin siyang isubstitute dito. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math Channel.